All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a small project I've been working with and I've been basically building a custom software using a WordPress or Classic Press. However, um, every time I, I logged on into my, 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 my software, I realized that my thumbnail wasn't coming. And this was a very big issue for me because I tried so many things uh, to sort this out. <laughs> Now, I know you might be seeing some things that are a bit unfamiliar or familiar to you. What I'm doing is I'm using meta boxes here, and of course, the default thumbnail that comes here, which is also a meta box. Now, um, I was having some trouble earlier because this thumbnail that I had declared in my custom post type of clients was not showing. Um, and this, uh, I, I came to, to realize that. As I was declaring my supports, of course, I had the thumbnail and it was available. Of course, when you declare the supports for your particular plugin and you say I want to share the I want to have a thumbnail in my post type, it should be showing up. However, um, every time I, I logged on into my software, I realized that my thumbnail wasn't coming. And this was a very big issue for me because I tried so many things uh, to sort this out. However, um, on research I found out it's actually something that's really small. So the only thing that you actually need is actually just declare, declare your, your thumbnail in your post type. And then the next thing you're going to do is that you need to add support for um, this particular project. So you say I want to add the theme support, I want to add theme support and then uh, the feature that I want to add in there is actually post-thumbnail. And then what I'll do is that I'm going to add the array of the post type that I want this to come through. So I'm going to just declare this under client because client is uh, the particular uh, custom post type that I want to work with. And then I'll just terminate this and say that is okay. So when I come back to my browser and then uh, reload this particular page, you're actually going to see Okay, I have a little typo here, so I'll change this to thumbnails and save. And when I come back to uh, my 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 backend and reload, uh, we now see that we actually have this meta box that is uh, showing up here in our in our software. So this really gave me a, a bit of a challenge, and I was really frustrated by it for days. Uh, however, that solves it. So. So many other particular supports might refuse to work, so you need to go and check whether they need to work with uh, the add theme support uh, functionality that is in WordPress or Classic Press. So enjoy your coding. Uh, if you love this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or question or whether you've experienced this before. Enjoy your coding. Bye bye.